Well, guys, we found out some good news. Dan Schneider is selling the Commanders. Hell, RG3 is getting some fans together to buy the team. I mean, that could be great. Trade deadline, you know, just happened a couple days ago. You know, Michael Thomas is out for the year. He's not going anymore. Brandon Cooks ain't playing tonight. You know, uh, somebody else got injured on the Ravens, I believe. You know, it, it, it's it's a, it's a wild time. Again, you know, week nine of the NFL season is right here tonight. I don't know what in the world Davis Mills and company have for the Eagles. I mean, the Eagles are undefeated. Texans are pretty terrible. It is in Houston, though. Game is in Houston. Again, Brandon Cooks is, he, I believe he's hurt, but it is what it is. Then you got the games on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The Falcons take up the Chargers, you know. Again, you know, I don't, I don't know what in the world Brandon Staley's doing, you know, like, like the, the Falcons are, they're, they're putting themselves in a good position. They lead in the NFC South. The Chargers are still kind of wishy-washy right now with all these injuries. You know, Mike Williams got hurt recently. Keenan Allen's been hurt all year. And, I mean, Atlanta is just, Atlanta's just somehow gotten better. Like, they're not the complete choke artists they once were. They they out choked. They got out choked last week by the Panthers. I mean, come on. You also got the Dolphins and the Bears in a interesting one. Again, you know, the Dolphins added some guys like Jeff Wilson Jr., Bradley Chubb, and Tua is still Tua. We don't know what in the world is going to happen. I mean, it's the, you still got the weapons, you know, Waddle and Hill. And you wonder what in the world, what in the world just Fields is going to do now that the Bears, you know, or now that the Bears trade away Robert Quinn, you know. You know I mean, I believe they have Rokon Smith, if I'm not mistaken, or did somebody else get it behind? I've totally forgotten already. But again, the Bears defense, they don't look like the Bears defense that we've seen in the past, you know. And the Bears themselves just don't look like a really good team at all right now. So, you know, it's kind of, it's going to be interesting. You got the Bengals and the Panthers as well. I mean, I believe I said KJ Moore. I meant DJ Moore, but, uh, you know, again, on, on the recap. But, I mean, the Bengals, you know, they got steamrolled last week. They need to do something. I mean, you got P.J. Walker and company. They can score. They can play. You know, this isn't going to be easy for the Bengals. There, this, there's a reason they call it any given Sunday around here. You also got the Lions and the Packers. Some people are picking the Lions to win this game. You know, Aaron Rodgers and company just have not been that team so far this year. Lions, they can't, they can't play defense. Then you get the Packers, they're just dysfunctional on offense. So it's going to be... It's going to be a wild time, let me tell you. And then you got the Raiders and the Jags again. Just not a lot of, just not a lot of, you know, intrigue, you know, coming from some of these games. Like you got Derek Carr versus Trevor Lawrence in a game that's happening. But, I mean, it's a game that's happening with a Raiders team that got shut out and has not been playing very well all season long. So, you know, it's kind of weird. You know, you also got the Patriots and the Colts. Also a weird one, you know. Jonathan Taylor's hurt. Mac Jones is now playing a little better. And, I mean, the Colts, they're still bad on offense. Yeah, they got to have Sam Ellinger going the rest of the way. But, it's the Colts. Not a good team right now. Uh, the Bills and the Jets, probably one of the most intriguing games of the week between Josh Allen, who's been... You know, just throwing the ball all over the field, running the ball all over the over the field, playing with a star-studded cast on offense against a really good defense, the Jets. But Zach Wilson leads that offense again. You know, Zach Wilson has to. You know, I'd say again, throw the ball, but with an added bonus of be efficient and be the game manager that you're supposed to be. Don't make any mistakes. In this game, because the Bills will take that and they will run with it. You know, again, this is the best defense and the best offense in the NFL right now. Like, literally, the Bills have the best defense and the best offense in the NFL, and it's not changing anytime soon. 
Really intriguing matchup, though. One of the best matchups of the day. And also, you got the Vikings and the Commanders. Again, the Vikings, this is a this is a real chance to see what Kirk Cousins and company, for me at least, what they can do against Taylor Heineke and the Washington Commanders, who, again, may not have, you know, Dan Schneider as the owner anymore. He's, he's selling the team. And I hope RG3 gets the team, please. I'm begging you. RG3's been fun on commentary this year. You know, on the ESPN slash ABC games for college football. And, I mean, yeah, it's just been fun. I wonder, you know, again, the Vikings, this, again, this is still, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering what, what in the world is going to run into the Vikings. And give them a taste of their own medicine. Because again, the Vikings have just kind of—they've been—they've been really just cruising along, undetected for most of the season ever since they lost to the Eagles. That really hasn't been that. You also got the Seahawks and the Cardinals, an NFC West game, which we Geno Smith and the Arizona defense that cannot stop a pulse. Kyler Murray probably playing Call of Duty. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Kyler Murray's a really good quarterback, but not even he can save that defense. It, it's been it's been a rough going for the Cardinals so far this year. How are they three and five? I don't know how they're three and five. I don't know how they've won three games, but I don't think they're winning this one. There's also the Buccaneers and the Rams, but honestly, honestly, it's Tom Brady's Buccaneers that are struggling against Sean McVay's Rams that are also struggling and this is a game where I really don't want to watch but the masochists in us are going to watch this game I guarantee you that you also got the Chiefs of the Titans on Sunday night wow Patrick Mahomes and company are just hey they're gonna do it again they're gonna they're gonna throw they're gonna run they're gonna use their defense but this is a really good Titans run game that they go up against and also an interesting defense that can play we know that Derrick Henry is um, still running with purpose Malik Willis is the guy that's starting uh, apparently I forgot that he started last week but I mean it was against the Texans who cares it's the Texans come on the, the real story to show last week is Derrick Henry and that will continue to be the show for the Titans this week. We'll see if KC can contain. And then, Monday night, the Ravens and the Saints. Whew, boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. A really intriguing one. Like I I, I don't know. Like I don't know the Saints, they've been playing pretty good you know lately. Like there there's some things clicking for the Saints. Yeah, they're three and five, but things are clicking for them, you know, when they need to be clicking. And the Ravens, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know right now. You know, you got Lamar, you got injuries though, on the defensive side of the football, and everything like that. Saints also have some injuries on the defensive side of the football, but you know, it is what it is. This one's gonna be this is going to be real fun, I'd say. I don't know if I'm going to watch this one, but I do know that this will be pretty intriguing for the fans of both these teams. It's going to be a real it's going to be a real good one, I think, on Monday night. We'll see what goes down in New Orleans. Can the Saints continue their winning ways and go to 4 and 5 or will the Ravens get the 6 and 3? So there you go. There you have it. That's my thoughts on week 9 in a nutshell. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm ready for Sunday. I don't think I'm watching this Thursday night matchup. I mean, come on. Y'all have probably watched the World Series, aren't y'all? Don't get me wrong. I don't like baseball, but I'd say watch watch that. Watch that instead. Especially in Philadelphia. Like, Watch that instead. Houston, y'all also need to just watch the World Series instead. Like, Why are y'all watching the Texans, man? Don't do that to yourselves. Alright, I'll see you guys on Friday night. Take care.